I wish to state that the bearer of this note has told me a tale that I consider the tallest of them all. Get him to tell it to you. Well, I've done better than that. I've persuaded him to come right here and tell it into this microphone. So here is Charlie Chucklehead of Chattanooga. Come on, Charlie. Very little is known about the early life of filmmaker Charlie Bowers. And much of what is known is most likely a lie. An article published in Photoplay in 1928 claims that Charlie's parents were a French countess and an Irish doctor. After only six months of kindergarten, Charlie was kidnapped by the circus at age six, which caused his father to die from the shock. When Charlie escaped after two years, he worked odd jobs to support his mother, which included mowing lawns, printing menus, jockeying horses, walking rope, and cartooning. What we do know is that Charlie Bowers was a cartoonist and then an animator, producing hundreds of animated cartoons, most notably Mutt and Jeff. He made his first live-action film in 1926, where he introduced his trademark Bowers Process, a technique for incorporating stop-motion animation in live-action. The Bowers Process would give his films a totally unique feeling, experimenting with the art of filmmaking in a very different way than his contemporaries. Although many silent films featured outrageous gags, Charlie's followed his own logic, or lack of logic. Charlie was obsessed with inventors and inventions, and they appear in many of his films. including the film Many a Slip, where he attempts to invent a non-slip banana peel. or the machine he invents to replace waiters in the short film he'd done his best. Eggs were a recurring motif in his films, often hatching into unusual things. His silent film, There It Is, features Charlie not as an inventor, but as a detective from Scotland Yard. He's called in to help a family menaced by the fuzz-faced Phantom, a mysterious figure with seemingly supernatural powers. His first and only talking film would be released in 1930. See, I was a breaker and a loser. You mean, uh, you mean you went broke and lost your mind? No, no, no. I had to break them up and lose the pieces. Sneak them out and drop them accidentally someplace. Well, where did you lose them? In somebody's back alley? No. I figured it would be doing a big favor to somebody if I fixed it so they could have an old gas tank in their parlor. You see, they could use it as an aquarium for the goldfish. Oh, yeah, or in the nursery as a baby's bath. Sure, there are lots of things you could do with an old gas tank that you couldn't do with a grand piano. Titled It's a Bird, the film features Charlie as a junkyard worker, searching for a legendary metal-eating bird to help him out around the junkyard. (coughs) 
It's a Bird would be his final live-action film, producing only a few animated films afterward. After his death in 1946, Charlie Bauer's name and work pretty much disappeared until sometime in the 1950s when his films were rediscovered in France by film archivist Raymond Bord, who purchased them from traveling performers. The only name on the film reels, however, was Bricolo, the name of Charlie's character in France. Alors je regarde ces bricolos. Je ne suis incapable de les identifier. Mais le personnage ressemble à Serge Stapleton et surtout les gags sont très curieux. Ils sont, je dirais, presque surréalistes. Et puis un beau jour, un beau jour, je trouve dans un vieil annuaire du cinéma une publicité des cinématographes mériques à Marseille. C'était une toute petite boîte de distribution. L'annuaire datait de 28 et il y avait Charlie Bowers, super série de Diavolo, etc., etc., Charlie Bowers, Bricolo. Ça y était, j'avais le nom. It wouldn't be until 1976 that Bord would learn Charlie's identity. Although lost for years, Charlie's surviving films are reaching new audiences on DVD and Blu-ray where he can be appreciated alongside other great filmmakers like Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin, and Harold Lloyd. And his films remain just as bizarre and inventive as they were almost a century ago.